Enough of your diva acts. Corey Vitiello demands legal action as Meghan Markle's Netflix show steals his recipes. Hook. Celebrity gossip and fine dining collide in a dramatic showdown. Chef Corey Vitiello, a culinary star, is suing Meghan Markle over recipe theft. This raises questions about intellectual property and creative ownership. Let's explore this saga that promises to leave a sour taste. The background. From romance to rivalry. Corey Vitiello is a celebrated Canadian chef known for his innovative dishes. He and Meghan Markle dated in 2014, before she became the Duchess of Sussex. Vitiello's culinary skills were recognized long before Meghan's royal fame. But their past adds a juicy twist to this drama. In 2023, Meghan's Netflix series features recipes Vitiello claims he created first. This raises questions about recipe ownership and where inspiration ends and theft begins. The Netflix show in question, Meghan's Culinary Project. In 2023, Meghan Markle launched a Netflix series on home cooking. The show, Duchess in the Kitchen, aimed to show how she balances elegance with practical cooking. The kitchen was a key part of the show. The show featured Meghan's favorite recipes and kitchen tips. But soon, whispers of recipe plagiarism began in the culinary world. The recipes in question were eerily similar to Vitiello's. The recipes included a roast chicken with lemon thyme glaze and a pumpkin soup. Vitiello had popularized these dishes in his restaurants and cookbooks. He says it's no coincidence. The legal allegations, recipe theft or creative coincidence. In late 2023, Vitiello's team announced plans to sue Meghan Markle. They claim she used his recipes without permission. The dishes and techniques were so unique to Vitiello's brand that they couldn't be mistaken for inspiration. This case highlights the importance of intellectual property in food. Recipe sharing is common, but outright theft is rare. This case involves a high-profile celebrity, making it even more significant. While creative ideas often blend, chefs usually see recipe sharing as part of the culinary world. But Vitiello's team believes the similarities are too great to be coincidence. The legal landscape of recipe ownership. This isn't the first time a legal battle over culinary creations has emerged. Recipe ownership might seem unclear, but there are legal precedents to protect chefs' work. Vitiello can rely on these to defend his intellectual property. In the United States and Canada, recipes aren't protected by copyright unless they have original writing. But, specific presentations, methods, and unique ingredient combinations can be protected. Vitiello argues that the Netflix show copied his dishes and style. Chefs have often avoided legal battles over recipe theft, valuing mutual respect. But Vitiello's case might change how seriously the culinary world views intellectual property. It could mark a shift in the digital age. Vitiello's team must prove the recipes were copied from his work, not just inspired. Given Markle's global platform, this legal battle could be complex and long. Meghan's response, silence or strategy. Many expected Meghan Markle to quickly respond to the allegations. Instead, she has remained silent, with her team saying they will address it legally. This has sparked media speculation. Markle has faced public scrutiny before, but this case is different. It challenges her professional endeavors post-royalty. Her silence has led to speculation about her legal strategy. The broader implications, celebrity, ownership, and the culinary world. Vitiello's lawsuit raises questions about recipe ownership and celebrity culture. In a world where celebrities build brands, authenticity and appropriation can be hard to distinguish. Markle has faced accusations of appropriating ideas before. Critics say her public persona post-royalty is heavily influenced by others. This lawsuit highlights the blurred lines between inspiration and theft. This case could impact the food media world, where chefs often walk a thin line between inspiration and imitation. If Vitiello wins, it could encourage other chefs to protect their work. A kitchen showdown, what's next? Vitiello and Markle are set to face off in court. The lawsuit is crucial for Vitiello's reputation as a chef. For Markle, it's about defending her public image. Whether this case will lead to a major legal showdown or a settlement is unknown. But one thing is clear, this feud is far from over. The culinary world will continue to debate the boundaries of inspiration and theft. The tension is rising, and neither side is ready to back down. Conclusion, a recipe for controversy. The battle between Corey Vitiello and Meghan Markle is more than a legal fight. It's about celebrity power, creative rights, and intellectual property. This case will highlight these issues, making creators in all fields think about sharing ideas and protecting their work. This kitchen drama is heating up, with both sides at risk. The public will watch every moment, eager to see what happens next. The Cultural Impact of Celebrity Chef Showdowns 
Koi Vitiello's lawsuit against Meghan Markle is part of a bigger trend. The culinary world now meets celebrity culture thanks to shows like Top Chef. Chefs have become famous, turning cooking into a form of personal branding. This trend has made food blogging and cooking shows popular. Chefs now face the challenge of protecting their culinary identity. Vitiello's lawsuit could set a precedent for chefs to defend their creative rights. As more chefs become famous, legal battles like this might become common. The more famous you are, the more likely your work will be copied without permission. This case also raises questions about how celebrities use their platforms. Meghan Markle, for example, has explored new areas like lifestyle branding and food. But when does this cross the line into infringing on professionals' work? The ethics of recipe sharing in the digital age. Vitiello's lawsuit raises questions about recipe sharing in today's world. Recipes have always been shared, but now, with Instagram and YouTube, ownership is unclear. When does borrowing a recipe become theft? Vitiello believes it's about the way a recipe is presented and branded. He feels Markle's show copied his style. For chefs, this imitation can feel like a deep violation. Yet, there's a counter-argument. Some say cooking is about sharing and evolving recipes. No dish exists alone, and chefs draw inspiration from others. The courts will have to decide between natural evolution and plagiarism. Public reaction, divided loyalties. As the lawsuit got attention, people had strong opinions. Meghan Markle's fans defended her, seeing the lawsuit as unfair. They point out she's faced a lot of criticism already. Markle's supporters believe she has the right to explore new areas, including cooking. They argue that cooking shows are collaborative efforts. Any similarities with Vitiello's recipes might be coincidental or part of a team effort. Vitiello has strong support from the culinary world. Chefs worry that celebrities can take recipes without facing consequences. This could harm their hard work and identity. This debate is about more than just law. It's about valuing experts versus celebrities. It's also about power in creative fields. Markle's fame and media reach make it hard for Vitiello to protect his work. The role of streaming platforms in creative ownership. Netflix is caught up in this issue. It airs shows like Duchess in the Kitchen. This raises questions about their role in content creation. Should Netflix check content for copyright issues? Or is it the production team's job? This debate affects how we see streaming platforms. Vitiello's case could change how streaming handles intellectual property. It's a big challenge for media companies. They must deal with copying in the digital age. This lawsuit might lead to new rules for streaming content. Will there be more checks on what's shown? Will creators have to share where their ideas come from? Success for Vitiello could change how we see culinary content online. Can the culinary world learn from fashion? The culinary world faces similar issues as fashion. Protecting recipes is hard under current laws. This leads to debates on inspiration versus theft. Fashion relies on branding to protect designs. Big names like Louis Vuitton focus on their brand. This helps consumers choose the real thing over copies. Chefs could learn from fashion by building their brands. A strong personal brand makes it harder to copy their work. But, the culinary world is different from fashion. In fashion, it's easy to tell the real thing from a fake. But in cooking, it's harder. Recipes and techniques are key for chefs. They need legal protection. The road ahead, possible outcomes and consequences. There are several possible outcomes for this case. Each has its own impact on the culinary and entertainment worlds. 1. Settlement behind closed doors. The case might settle without going to court. This could avoid bad publicity. Vitiello might get credit or money for his recipes. 2. Vitiello wins. If Vitiello wins, it could set a big legal precedent. Chefs might feel more confident in protecting their work. But, it could also limit creativity and sharing in the culinary world. 